Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is August the 6th, 2016. And the following video is by my good friend Astronomy Live. And in this video, Astronomy Live is taking a look at a video by Steve Olson claiming a cover-up in the stereo SETI images. Let's take a look at Astronomy Live's video. Hi folks, Astronomy Live here. Just saw this video from Steve Olson where he's claiming that uh, an image is being covered up from stereo head HI2 and it's being replaced with another image. So I'm going to play the video here for a little bit, but pause uh, where needed to discuss what he's showing and show you guys the truth because unfortunately he's not showing you the truth. So let's listen to what he says. So in addition to the weird three dot thing that I just showed you, Wayne and I have been working all morning on some analysis of the SETI photography that's provided to us by the US Naval Observatory. We'll have a link below. But basically you can go in there and look at archived images of the wide spectrum H1. And what this does is it actually takes you out of the inner solar system, which you're used to seeing with H1 that like Wayne and I were working on the other day where we were looking at the H1 images in that huge orb. Well, this one blows it out a little bit more so you can see more into the wider spectrum outer planets from H1. Okay. First of all, it's HI2 in this case, not HI1. But I want to make note of what he just indicated. He just indicated that he's aware that there are multiple versions of these images. Remember that and keep that in mind because it becomes very important in a minute. That's what this is for. So, Wayne, you want to tell us what... Uh what we found today? Now, we have two frames here. If you and I had not grabbed the frame on the left. This frame over here, guys, with the details, what, what uh, Wayne's talking about, this one right here. We'll get the analysis of that in a second. What my point to our point to all this is over on the left, look at the dates, guys. They're the same. We grabbed this literally 30 minutes 30 minutes later, they had already replaced the right with the left. Okay. So he just claimed that they replaced this image on the right with this image on the left. Now let's actually go to the website and see what we find there. So here's the image that he claimed replaced the other one. Yes, it's up there right now. But if I go over to the next tab, oh look, there's the image that he says was replaced. They're both up there. They have been the whole time. There are multiple versions of these images available on this website. They're all JPEGs processed from the raw data, which you can also get from the Stereo FTP. You can go on there and you can download the images from that day, including this one, and process it yourself. So, if you think something is being hidden in the images, the first thing you should do is, of course, go to the raw data. Go to the primary source, grab the raw data, and process, your, process it yourself and see what's there. I've processed the raw data for the same image myself, and there it is. That's my processing of the raw data. These are high bit depth FITS files. They have more dynamic range than can natively be displayed on monitors like mine. That's why they undergo all this processing to reveal dim details that would otherwise be lost. Let me show you what it looks like before I did any processing to the image. Now, PixInsight will invert the image vertically, but we can quickly fix that so that you can see it in its normal orientation that you would be used to seeing on the stereo website. And that's what it looks like. It's very hard to see any detail here. But if I do a little bit of stretching of the histogram to bring out the dimmer details that are lost by displaying it like this, you can see that beautiful Milky Way and all these stars. So you should always go to the raw data if you think something is being hidden in a, ver in a version of the image. See what the raw data shows. But not only is he not doing that, he's flat out lying to you by claiming that this image has been replaced with this image. They're just in different directories. This image is in the HI stars A directory. 
the image he says was replaced is in the regular HIA directory. There are multiple versions of these images. And what he doesn't show you is the actual website. He doesn't show you the fact that there are multiple versions. There's all these different versions. There's HI stars A, there's just regular HIA, there's HI2 SRIM A, which is an even more extreme processing to bring out any dim features uh, by doing subtraction of a previous image on the current image. And here's what that looks like. It's really kind of messy. You can't really see the stars in these images, but it's, it's really helpful for bringing out very tenuous low contrast details from the heliosphere, which is the whole point of these imagers. These are heliospheric imagers. They're not just to take pretty, pretty pictures of the stars. And because of that, they have this occulter. This is a physical occulter that's installed in uh, the spacecraft. And this was to block stray light from Earth from the heliospheric imager shortly after launch, when the vehicle was still close to Earth. And there were two of them, right? There was stereo ahead and stereo behind. And they both had this occulter because as they left Earth, and they were still close to it, if they hadn't blocked out the stray light from Earth, it would have washed out the images. So that's why that exists. It, it blocks out, or it did block out, the stray light from Earth. And again, you can go to the website right now, go to August 2nd, and go to that very picture that he says was replaced, and it's right there. You can click on that, and it brings it right up. He's just flat out lying to you about it going missing from the website. All right, everyone says Planet X, Nibiru, Herculipetus, whatever you want to call it, the destroyer is only a legend. Hockey puck, those who believe in it, I'm calling you all out on it because listen, you explain to me what's taking place over on the right, and why are we getting the sanitized version on the left? Well, now it's been explained. The image on the left has less contrast enhancement so that you can still see more of the stars. The image on the right has more extreme contrast enhancement to bring out any faint details like uh, the heliosphere. And there's even more extreme processing available from that site, but the raw data is still available and all the versions are still available. Nothing is being hidden. You can process it yourself if you think something's being hidden in the glow of the Milky Way or anywhere else in the image. And yet here you are lying to people. To me that's that's disgusting. So you're calling people out who disbelieve you. Well, here I am. So why don't you invite me on your show and let me explain to your viewers what you've been doing and what you've been concealing from them. Because he won't show you the homepage of the site and the fact that there's all these different directories. He won't go in there and show you those directories because if he did, he would find his image. So I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit. You see, folks, this is evidence. You want evidence? This is clear evidence of deliberate tampering with the photographs. Actually, it's clear evidence of deliberate deception on your part. Now you called out people who disagree with you and disbelieve you. Well, I'm calling you out now. So let's see if you respond to me. Now, he mentioned earlier that he was gonna put the links in the video description. Well, they're not there. The only links I see right now are a link to PayPal to give him money and donate to him, and another link to a store to buy his shirt. Well, I'm going to include these links in my video description. And I think when you click on them, it's going to dump you basically back out to the home page, but it'll show this bar on the left. And so all you have to do is scroll down and click on the image to pull it up. And that's the truth. That's the truth he's not telling you. Thanks for watching. Clear skies, folks.